Hello, welcome to Sustainable Survival. In this video, I just want to give you a brief explanation on how to utilize SketchUp and Google Earth to make a contour map of your property to help you in your permaculture design layout. Now this is pretty easy. There are a lot of good videos on YouTube that go into detail on how to get to this point that you see in front of you. There is one example in my description box. I urge you to watch that. I'll give you a brief explanation the best I can. Basically, you're going to import your location into SketchUp. Then you are going to click this toggle terrain button. You will then draw a rectangle on the red axis through the 3D map. And then you will copy that rectangle on the blue axis however far is best for your topographical features. In this example, it was every four feet. And then you are going to copy that rectangle however many times it takes to cover the entire 3D map. In this example, it was 150 times. Then you're going to select those rank rectangles and make them into a group. And then you're going to click Intersect Model and then you will hide the rectangles and this is what you'll be left with. I know that sounds really complicated but if you refer to that video in the description box it'll help you as it helped me. Now this is really neat because it's going to give you a 3D representation of your property as you can see here. What's nice about this is once you've gotten to this point you can actually import this 3D model into Google Earth and fairly accurately you will be able to plot from known locations and measure exactly where these major contour lines are. For an example, from this road to this contour line is 57 feet. Then you can take an A-frame level and actually map this contour line. Now, if you refer to the description below, there is a video on how to use an A-frame level that I found really helpful. Now, what does this do for you? I mean, it does a lot of things. It saves you a lot of time because you can actually visualize the way in which the water is running through your property. You can find ways to slow it down. You can identify where your access points are, where your hardscapes are, and where your major contour features are then you can plan your major earthworks like aquaculture or swales and I'll just show you kind of what I've been thinking about doing with my property so since I came up with this map I also printed it out as you can see here and actually put in measurements to where those major contour features are and then I was able to on my whiteboard kind of plan out the general layout of my property. So as you can see here on number one, this is going to be a major swale and it's also going to be a woody bed or huga culture bed on contour and a food forest. It's going to also act as a dam to retain back this aquaculture, this little pond that you see here. Now I've labeled these in which that I'm actually going to do them when I get to my property. This is number one, number two, and number three. Those are the first major features that I put into the property are the swales. What's also nice about this is when you import it into Google Earth, it's going to give you the ability to see where true solar south is, what the wind direction is, so you'll be able to really clearly define where you're going to put in your structures, your gardens, and your permaculture zones in general. So like I said, this is just a, a basic example of what I just lay out. There are going to be future videos that go into more detail on what I, exactly I'm planning on doing and then also documenting as I actually put these major earthworks in. But I just wanted to give you guys an idea on how to utilize SketchUp and Google Earth to make your permaculture planning a little easier. Thank you for watching Sustainable Survival. Please comment and subscribe. 
You can also visit my website at sustainablesurvivalist.net where you can follow along in any multimedia you choose, uh, if it be blog or video, whatever works for you.